Good day, comrade subscribers. Thanks for hanging around. Uh, I thought these were interesting. So these these are just V20s. So NEC's slightly improved 8088s. These are K1810VM88s, which is the Soviet clone of the 8088. So there's that 8086 clone as well, ends in 86. So this is the KM variant, uh, which means that it comes in a ceramic nice ceramic case whereas I think KR uh, comes in um, plastic I think that's how it works so these are KM 1810 VM 88s so 1991 vintage so Soviet Soviet era so this powered their um, I guess their IBM PC clones so I managed to get two so some fellow in Ukraine has, has stumbled upon a a, a job lot. So he's uh, selling them off. So I've got, I bought two. What's that one there? It's a bit fainter. Uh, 91. Looks like it's, uh, well, I can see it anyway. 91.05 maybe. 9127 so this is this is the slightly newer one um yeah interesting okay end of video <laughs> no so i'm going to try and stick it in my um ibm portable pc 50 model 5155 um my 5160 is having problems still with the keyboard as far as i know it'll boot up it boots up fine uh but then the keyboard stops working which is annoying. You just you, you get to a stage where you just get tired of fixing things. You just want things to work. Anyway, let's try and fit the um, fifty-one fifty-five on here and uh, put the chip in and see if it works. A eh? <laughs> and um, try and put it through its paces. So it's supposed to be. Um, Two to five megahertz, so under underneath the four point seven seven of the standard XT. So um, let's give it a try. All right, oh, thirty degrees today. It's still it's what seven o'clock, up past seven. It's still humid, but here's uh, yeah my trusty portable PC. I've not made any modifications to it apart from the compact flash hard drive. It's still got the original eight oh. 80 or oh, 8087 <laughs> so what have i put in it oh i've actually put in a v20 so i put it in a v20 already okay that's not going to be a fair test is it well i'll try running it on this first and then i'll try and find the 8088 and um so let me try check it check it three so i've not upgraded the memory either so it's still a 256k motherboard not a 640k motherboard so I'm not sure what check it requires. Let's see. Let's see, power on. Probably turn some lights off. Okay, booting off the contact flash. Okay, DOS 6.22. Uh, let's see. Oh, God, yeah, you can see I did this on a Mac. Um, check BIOS. I've never used this before. Ah, so we've got to wait for. A one gigabyte compact flash to tell how much speed, uh, how much space it's got. So there's check it. All right, let's check BIOS do. Ah, let me try a one line description of this machine. Uh, let's see, model 5155. Um, okay, where can we sort? Enter a file name so. M5151 
Oh, fascinating. Okay. Well, let's just run check it then. See if it's going to be... Oh, of course, I've got to upgrade the motherboard. <laughs> All right. Looks like I'm pulling it apart then. Ah, sort it. All right, for this one, we'll just try, we'll just see, see if it works, shall we? And then I'll upgrade, because there's a bit of work getting the motherboard out of these portable PCs. Um, so I'm going to replace the V20. Actually, I think I did have, did I have a Utils? I think I did have something. Just that gave info, maybe info spot. HPW util, what's that HPW util? Okay, HPW util. Uh, lift. Oh, okay, this is, um, is this this is uh exit exits program f8 that's for um hp lift files disks okay so let's try i think info spot then overlays so we're gonna run oh here we go info spot R all right it's gathering information and, oh, almost dinner time all right so config system config I don't know. If, well, that's a bit better. Maybe I need to give it a bit of a clean. IBM PCXT 256-64. So okay, I've upgraded the BIOS processor NEC V20 coprocessor 8087. So I guess that's pretty much all we wanted to see, really. Information from. There's no sim. Oh, of course, mm -hmm. duh. All right. Interrupts. All right, nothing else we really want from this. No shell. Ah, just escape. All right, we will shut down. Swap the chip and see what it comes back with. Okay, so long time subscribers to the channel. And those versed in Soviet electronics will know that they um, generally use 2.5 millimeter pin spacing rather than imperialistic 2.54 millimeter or 0.1 of an inch, which you can see here. So pins on the left line up, but they slowly get out of uh, sync or get out of step as we get up to pin 20. But having said that, it's gone in with no issue. So um, let's try and fire it up and see if it works. Okay, let's try. A good start, even though you can't see it. <laughs> Turn the light on. Okay, boot off floppy. Uh, boot off the compact flash. Okay. Um, Let's check what it reckons it is. Um, here's the utils. It's an info spot. Oh, that's 
so sweaty down here in the garage. Okay, that's visible enough. Apologies for the slight flickering. Uh, okay, so info spot. Uh, Swatter. So I'm hopefully going to make, um, I've ordered the parts for a graphics gremlin. I'll put the link in the video description. Uh, 60, 67 dollars Australian shipped from Mouser for all the parts. So Graphics Gremlin is um, by Tube Time. Uh, the guy also did the comics and Comics 35 and God, loads of other stuff. Uh, so that's his, um, so the Graphics Gremlin is an ISA card that'll do MDA and CGA, but with a VGA, VGA output. Uh, and someone's actually um, forked it and um, implemented a HDMI output, so you can get CGA with HDMI. I don't have the, I don't have those boards, but I'll, I'll see this graph. Anyway, let's see config. So this is designed for color, obviously. So it's just coming up as a 8088, genuine 8088. I don't know if, what else I can really do with my limited RAM. Um, yeah, so seems to be working. Um, let's try and it's supposed to be 100% compatible. Uh, escape, escape, yes, quit. Uh, what else have we got on here? Uh, I meant to go back to the root. Do I have Ancient Art of War on here? Games, Gem, I've got Gem on here. Windows. Okay. Uh, games. Let's try um, got Alley Cat, Boulder Dash, uh, Pack Girl. <laughs> well, the Pack Girl can get annoyed. I, I need to, that's why I wanted to do add volume control on this thing. Um, and War, Ancient of War, which is one of my favourites. So let's try, um, Sockworth is interesting. Let's just try good old Pack Girl. Okay, one for slow speed, normal speed. Press Alt plus speed number to play random champions. Okay, oh, I used to love this game. for hours. Ah. Anyway, you can see it's working. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright, I don't think there's any way, there's no way to get out of this apart from rebooting. So it's um, getting pretty out. Oh, out. Oh, it's getting pretty warm. <laughs> Can I turn the light off now, or is it going to a little bit better? No. Or is the camera going to complain? Prince of Persia, F-19, Jet, Space War, that was another one I used to play all the time, otherwise known as SPAC War. <laughs> Let's just do Enchanted War quickly, although of course Flight Simulator is the one that is the, was always the, um, if it ran Flight Simulator, so 
So if it ran Flight Simulator, then it was genuine, 100% IBM compatible. So, um, yeah, seems to be working like a like a genuine chip, except it's just getting pretty hot. Let me actually, um, I just love this game. Anyway. Let's just hit Napoleon. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, I used to, oh man, I could play this game for hours. And I used to play it on my friends. Uh, what did he have? I can't remember. But I had playing it in amber, <laughs> monochrome. That was before we got our Amstrad. Anyway, let's let's just check the temperature, and um, yeah, we'll wrap it up. Uh, let me just go find the. Uh, I'll let that run. So this is just a demo. Let me check. Everything else the demo is running. Where's the chip hitting? Really? Only 40, 40 degrees, it feels a lot hotter. Oh geez, the 8087 is hot. 50, 57 degrees. Whereas the uh, the KM eight eighteen ten VM eighty eight is only forty one degrees. Jeez, I didn't realise the eight hundred eighty seven was getting so bloody hot. It's not even doing anything. Jeez. Enjoying the game. Love this game. All right. Ah, oh, that's it. For tonight, um, I have to upgrade my motherboard or put in a RAM expansion. Maybe put in a RAM expansion, that might be quicker. Okay, bye for now.